you some critical new clues today about the other missing mom mystery we've been following. Alila Cavett vanishing last month and her toddler son, of course, found wandering alone in Miramar. Local 10's Alex Finney is live in Hollywood where police are taking away a dumpster. Alex, tell us what's going on there. Well, Janice and Christy, that just wrapped a few minutes ago before we went live. You're about to see that video in one moment. But in addition to that, we know that the FBI is now offering a $10,000 reward for anyone that has information that can lead to Layla Cavett. The FBI seen going through the dumpster area behind the racetrack and taking pictures. Two dumpsters have been loaded onto two flatbeds covered with tarps. Is this connected to the Layla Cavett case? We are working to confirm. We went to Pollo Tropical in Fort Lauderdale. What we do know is Shannon Ryan, the man who claimed to be the last person to see Layla, was arrested on a kidnapping charge. And in his criminal complaint, it says he was on his phone searching the Hollywood commercial garbage pickup dates. We also heard from investigators that a gas station employee told detectives that they recalled Ryan using the racetrack dumpster and noticed children's toys and women's clothes inside. Meanwhile, the FBI releasing new surveillance from this Hollywood racetrack, the last known images of Layla before she went missing on July 25th. According to the FBI, here's her white Chevy pickup truck that afternoon. She's seen later getting out of this Lexus sedan, and the last image is of her inside the gas station around 10.15 p.m. And she has not been seen or heard from since. We have been covering the story extensively. More on that on local10.com. But in the meantime, if you have any information, any information whatsoever can be helpful right now, make sure you give the FBI a call. That number is 1-800-CALL-FBI. Again, 1-800-CALL-FBI. For now, live in Hollywood, Alex Finney, Local 10 News. Alex, thank you.